show with Carol Burnett. The show is uh, a little help with Carol Burnett. It's on Netflix now. Ariel Stachel is uh, from the band's visit at the Anthem of the Illinois Theater. Great to see you. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Uh, this is Macon from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Hey, what's your question? Carol, when you presented at the Golden Globes with Jennifer Aniston, was it awkward at all that Angelina Jolie was at one of the first tables? Oh. Which, what, uh, he said when you presented at the Golden Globes with Jennifer Aniston, was it awkward at all that Angelina Jolie was at one of the front tables? I don't know. I didn't really look she out and see know. her. Yeah. I, was, I was staring at Meryl Streep you and were. Tom Hanks and all of them. Yeah. But you don't ever get nervous anymore oh, doing sure anything I do. like that. You oh, do? Oh, yeah. You For get real? little butterflies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What? By the way, what's been the most nervous you've ever been in your professional career, would you say? Uh, when we did did a concert version of Stephen Sondheim's Follies. Uh, I thought we were, when he first called me, he said, I'd like you to sing I'm Still Here. Yeah. And it's a tough song. It's one you of know, the hardest very songs. Very hard to, yes. you know, so, and he said, we're going to be recording it. So I thought that we were going to be in a studio recording the song and I'd be having the lyrics right yes. there. So it wasn't until I flew back to New York and I'm having lunch with my dear friend Beverly Sills, and she said, "Oh, we're going to come see you in that concert." And I said, "What? What? What concert?" She said, "Well, you know, the one uh, this weekend at the Philharmonic. Where we we're doing Follies." I said, "You mean with it?" And I didn't know the lyrics. Oh my God! And I thought, "Oh, what am I going to do?" And so now I'm immersing myself with the lyrics. And I went to the director of it. I said, "I thought I was going to be reading the lyrics." I said, can I, can I, I hate to ask this, but could I have some cue cards? Because very tricky. Yes. You know. And uh, they said, well, okay. So they got cue cards, but the situation was there was no pit or anything where I could right. read the card. They were behind me. <laughs> Helpful. The cue cards, so I'd have to go, what? and right. they sing, and then what, and they sing. So I couldn't do that. Luckily, I got through it. But it's on YouTube. If you ever see it, you will see the most frightened human being really? in the world. I'm really? Like, okay, what comes next? What comes next? Wow. Oh, my wow. goodness, I was scared. Back to the phones. Call her. What's your name, and From where are you calling? Hi, Andy. This is Shelly from Kansas City. Hey, Shelly. Shelly what's your question? Uh, my question is for the wonderful Carol Burnett, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering, is there any chance of your ABC pilot starring Amy Poehler moving to a different network or streaming service? I don't think so. I did a, a pilot that uh, Amy Poehler is uh, producing and everything, yep. and she's going to be in it at yep. one point, you know, d occasionally. Yeah. And uh, the network, the pilot was very funny, I have yeah. to say. And uh, uh, the network wanted to replace some of the characters that we had hired, yeah. some of the actors, and I thought they were really good. Yeah. And I thought, well, ooh, you know, so now they were nitpicking. Then they asked the uh, writer, the head writer, to kind of tweak it and write some, you know, something else a little more. And I read it, and it just wasn't as funny as, you know. And then I thought, you know. If this is how we're starting. I'm not, uh, I never had that problem with my show. Yeah. They left us alone, yeah. completely let the artists do what they do. Yeah. And this way, I, um, I said, you know, I, I don't want to have to go through that, yeah. you know, because I, I was spoiled. I, yeah. I'm spoiled. Yeah. And, I think I uh, it had uh, we've been doing my show today, you know, if, if we were right age and everything. No network would have let me hire Vicki Lawrence. Right, right. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Well, before I do, so do you think there's any chance that the original could get picked up by someone else? I don't think so. Right. I don't know. I don't. Think Was it so. fun to do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, we used to do our show. It was a, we'd tape an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. And I wanted it to be done just like a Broadway yes. show. So, so we, we do fast, fast, fast. Yeah, we yeah, would yeah. do it and we'd have a live studio on yeah. and we'd be out in time to go to dinner. Yes. Well, I've done some guest shots on sitcoms where it's it 21 for... minutes to tape, five hours. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, it's brutal. Please, it's this brutal. you don't have to. Right. And so with this one, uh, they wanted three hours for 21 minutes. Right. And I said, well, but I gave him two. Uh -huh. And that was that you, was even too much. And did you much. nail it in two? Of course. Yeah, of course. 
I mean, it wasn't just me. We yeah, all no, I know. No, did everybody? We had yes, enough rehearsal. Course. You know, just right. do it. And you have a live audience. Which, and going, it kills the okay, live audience. Honey, they're, yeah. they've been there so long, they have to go home and shave yes. again. It's ridiculous. I went to a, the one and only taping I think I've ever been to. I went to a taping of Designing Women. And... I, I had been so excited, yeah. and after an hour, I was like, oh, I can't do uh, this anymore. I know, this is like, I know. They keep making horrible. you redo it, and then they yeah. rewrite it in front of the audience. Terrible. You know. Back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, caller. Oh. Caller, are you there? Oh, our phone's Yes. Back. Oh, yes. Hey, what's your question? Hi. My question's kind of serious. Okay. Um, on, a, on a scale from 1 to 10... How would you rate your kiss with Julie Andrews? Ah, on a scale from one to ten, how would you rate your kiss with Julie Andrews? I never kissed Julie. She never kissed her. Where'd you think she kissed oh, her? Oh, I know what you Whoa, mean. Whoa, hold on. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, oh this oh, is a great oh, story. Oh, yes. This is a great story. Tell yeah. the story. Okay. I know this okay. story. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is a crazy story. <laughs> well, Julie and I were invited uh, to uh, perform a medley of songs that we had done at Carnegie Hall for a special uh, for uh, President Lyndon Johnson's. Okay. Uh, There's a big deal in Washington, D.C. So um, uh, she and her husband arrived, and we were all on the same floor, and my husband and I were down the hall, and it was late, and, uh, and the show wasn't going to be until the next day. So this was for Lyndon Johnson, okay. So uh, Julie called me on the phone. She said, why don't you and Joe come down for some hot chocolate? You know, Tony and I here. We have I said, well, I'm in my uh, ja jammies and fuzzy slippers. And, you know, she, she said, well, so are we. Come on down. So we went down the hall and, you know, and we're having hot chocolate. And um, the phone rang. And it was Mike Nichols who had just arrived, because he and his partner at the time, Elaine May, were going to do a bit on the show. And Julie said, oh, Mike, Carol, and Joe are down here. He said, where are you? Why don't you come down and have some hot chocolate? And so uh, he said to her, well, I'm up on the fourth floor. I just have to hang up my clothes and everything. I'll be right down. Okay. So Julie looks at me and says, I know what. And I said, what? She said, there's a settee right across from the elevators in the hall. So that when Michael comes down, you know, why don't we be sitting there in our jammies and our fuzzy slippers and wave to him? You know, that'd be fun. I said, okay. So we and we're sitting down like that and everything, and then you know we can see when the elevator, the floors, you know, change and everything. So nothing was happening. She said, I know what. I said, what? She said, when we know Mike's coming down and the doors open, let's pretend that we're kissing. <laughs> And I said, Julie, I like you a whole lot, but I just don't, you know. She said, no, 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 we'll just do, and it looked like, you know, we'll do that. And, you know, it's where my nose would be buried in her neck, you yes. know. So now we're seeing the fourth floor, third floor, second floor. We go whack like that. And we hear nothing. <laughs> and Julie said, is it Mike? And I said, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> My nose is buried in your ear. Uh, and she said, well, maybe we should have a look. We looked up, and out walked the Secret Service men, <laughs> followed by Lady Bird. <laughs> <laughs> and so Lady Bird's looking at it, and they're walking down the hall, and then Lady Bird turns around and looks at me and says, aren't you Carol Burnett? <laughs> and I said, yes, ma'am. And this here's Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So that was a kiss. She was I want to thank Carol Burnett. A little help with Carol Burnett's on Netflix now. Go see Ariel Stachel on the band's visit at the Ethel Warren War Theater. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.